Hi, I'm Kim from ThatSweetRaw.com and I hope you are here to stop wasting time on your vocal warm-ups. Now, I want to start this by saying I'm not against vocal warm-ups, but I am against ones that are not giving you bang for your buck or progress for your invested time. So the best vocal exercises for deep technical practice should set up your body and your voice for what you want to do in your practice or your performance. So you want to be practicing the right things, which is what fills the gap between what your voice can do now and what you want it to be able to do on autopilot in the right way, which is using an approach that makes a positive difference almost immediately. So that you're then clocking up these little wins on the regular, which leads to increased motivation and enjoyment. So please, don't keep doing the same approach over and over and over again if it's not delivering a noticeable difference in the sound or the feeling. The best tools, techniques and concepts can make it happen really quickly, almost instantaneously. So let's talk about how to take some basic exercises that you might already be doing, but make them purposeful to double their usefulness and your progress. So one that I see a lot of singers doing, which is fantastic, is lip trills and tongue rolls. So to make this even more useful, can you please check what your ribs and your belly are doing? So I love to have one hand tucked in on my rib cage so I can relax my um, shoulder down and then one on my belly button to really check is the relationship with my breath and cords as efficient as it could be. If you are working on smoothing out your break, you actually don't want to keep moving through that break without stopping and doing something about the note that is flipping. So find that note, start out with one of my favorite tools, the straw, hitting the note, blowing through the straw, making the sound, and then you can do that and remove the straw on like an ooh. The next thing you want to do is decide what quality you actually want it in. So this is going back to what is happening in your song. Are you wanting it to be in a sweeter sort of whispered way? Are you wanting it to be more spoken? Are you wanting it to be strong? Then you need to start speaking in that way on the note. Oh, 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 or calling out. Oh, right. So really starting to go at the notes that are in your break rather than just moving through them and always having that flip on those scales. If you want a more focused bright sound, then you can practice those more muted vowels with a higher tongue position. So this is those exercises that might be on ma, for example, which is a vowel that wants to sit further back inside our mouths. If we change the tongue position to a higher tongue position, well, I'll do the old one first and then the new one with the tongue. Ma, 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 ma. More muted. If I want that more bright, focused sound, I'm going to change my tongue position. Ma, 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 ma. And have that very focused, bright sound that I'm after. If on the flip side, I'm doing a song that I actually want it to be more muted, I want it to be this darker, richer, more soulful sound, I might practice what usually are bright forward vowels, like an E, for example, but actually let them sit further back in my mouth. So instead of me, 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 it might be me, 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 to practice that vowel shaping, getting a handle on that for the song that I'm wanting to perform or wanting to practice. If you are working on your belt, this is a very important one, please make sure that you have exercises that you are actually belting in, that you are actually keeping in that really strong sound. What I find is that most people are doing scales and they're going 
from the lower part all the way up to their head voice, chest to head, and they're trying to blend it through and that's fantastic, but it's not helping you establish your belt in your warm up. So you want to stop earlier, you want to stop at that comfortable ceiling for yourself and get that feeling really, really great on whatever it is that you're singing. So I like to play around with revving for this, that I really feel that breath intensity and I feel that connection. I really practice keeping my ribs from collapsing with that strong sound. And then I'm gonna call out and I'm gonna start on the highest note. So I might go, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. So those are just a few ideas. What you will notice about these exercises is that they can be done on any pattern of notes. They're really more approaches than they are standalone exercises, which means that they're far more versatile and each of them has a purpose and some of them have even more than one. So this is what I would love to teach you in Practice a Love Affair, which is my course that kicks off again this Friday. I will pop the link below. And it contains a selection of my favorite approaches when it comes to technique to fast track your progress. Because as I said, you need those little wins along the way to stay motivated. So if you're not feeling motivated because nothing much is happening, nothing much is changing, please be kind to yourself. Of course, you're not feeling motivated. You don't have those dopamine hits that are helping you stay encouraged. So not only does it have this selection of techniques, but it also has maybe the most important part for a devoted practice, which is sections that are trying to rewire your brain from jumping to judging yourself and getting frustrated or feeling defeated and instead becoming curious and compassionate. So it's helping you understand like, what is the gap between where you are currently and what it is that you want and what could help you fill that gap, which is exactly what we'll be working on together in the live classes that are part of that experience. So that in itself is such a game changer because you'll lean in and start to experiment with solutions instead of just throwing in the towel, which I know the feeling when you are, as I said, not making any progress, it's so easy to feel defeated and despondent, but it doesn't need to be that way. So let's go back to your exercises. Because the approaches can be used on any melodic pattern of notes, I prefer to use the songs that singers are actually working on. So the exact lines that have been giving them trouble sometimes honing in on the exact note that they are finding challenging. So the most important thing is that you know what your warm up is setting you up for, what element of your technique or elements that it is strengthening and reminding your body about. So you can do the same exercises if you have a set that you absolutely love, but can you now make sure that you are giving each one a purpose? And if you don't know what types of techniques, exercises, or tools you could be using to maximize your warm up, please comment below as to what it is that is your current vocal frustration or what you would like to train your voice to be able to do. And I'll give you a suggestion. That's what I'm here for. And if you want to sample a delicious tasting platter of my teaching, Practice a Love Affair has got a little bit of everything, all in digestible training videos, and you can go at your own pace. As I said, there is live coaching with me as part of it as well, and I am always in the comments giving suggestions and feedback. It's such a fun space. I make it my personal responsibility to get you those wins that will keep you motivated and excited to keep practicing. So hit the link below if you're keen, and I hope to see you there. And if this video dished out some gems for you, please like it, subscribe, share it with a singer that you know, and I will see you back here next time for more to help you feel better and more confident about that wonderful voice of yours. Have a beautiful week.